As it is the first of the month again, we want to talk about my airdrop results for the month of July. How many airdrops did I receive? Also in terms of US dollar value, what I did to qualify for them, did I hold or sell them? And what airdrops do I still farm where I see potential for the upcoming few months, especially until the end of the year? We always do this with my Excel sheet over here where you can see all the airdrops for the first half of the month where May was the least lucrative month in terms of US dollar value I received in airdrops and the month before. So April 2024 was the most lucrative because they received a big Warhol token airdrop. Let's take a look in my positions which I received for the month of July. And the first one here in this case is a small EtherFi airdrop, 145 tokens. With a valuation right now as of recording of this video at 303 US dollars. What did I do for it? I just used the liquid restaking token of EtherFi on many Ethereum layer 2s, for example, on Blast, Scroll, and on the base network. Should have been right around 1 ETH, 1.5 ETH, which qualified me for this airdrop. Next up on today's list is the Sanctum airdrop, which I qualified for on three different wallets. Therefore, I also just use the liquid staking tokens on Solana. This airdrop is currently worth around 102 US dollars. I spoke about this in my video two days ago, sold my whole position as I also did with my EtherFi tokens because I don't see any use case for those tokens besides staking them for governance. And that's one thing I don't want to do. Next up on today's list is a whale. This is probably the most lucrative one, not in terms of US dollar value, but in foresight regarding future airdrops. That's why I will hold my whole whale position here. 1,783 tokens with a current valuation of 285 US dollars. I just liquid staked Matic tokens for it and used Ethereum layer 2s. And I staked all those whale tokens with the validators, picked 16 different validators and hoping for future airdrops for the away token. The last one for this month was the airdrop from Pyth Network, which I received because I deposited assets into Infinex. There might be also a future Infinex airdrop, we don't know yet. And there I received almost 500 tokens with a current value of roughly 170 US dollars. This one is still sitting in my wallet. I will probably just hold on to those tokens and hope that they will go up in value in the upcoming few months. Once Bitcoin picks up steam again, currently we're sitting just below 63,000 US dollars. Maybe we'll go lower. Maybe we will have a turnaround in the upcoming few days and weeks. Nobody knows yet. So I will just hold on to my Pyth tokens. And all in all, those four airdrops are currently worth 860 US dollars, which makes this the second least lucrative month in terms of airdrops for 2024 for me after the month of May. But of course, I think it's still worth it because it's basically free capital and I don't really have to do anything for it besides depositing assets on platforms or wrapping up tokens into a liquid restaking token or a liquid staking token. So all in all, I have probably spent around 30 to 45 minutes to receive those 860 US dollars. I know that many people are saying airdrops are dead. It's not lucrative anymore. But I think if you can get free 860 US dollars by just wrapping around some assets or depositing assets in any platforms, it's still worth it. And I'm still farming for some airdrops. I think the biggest three currently are Hyperlane. Then, of course, the orderly airdrop in connection with all the partner platforms. And the third one where most of my focus is on are probably the layer twos like uh, Linea and Scroll for all the people that are still thinking about getting into the airdrop game or asking themselves for which airdrops they should go. Because I think all those mentioned ones will distribute their token within 2024. Orderly will be in a few weeks as well as, for example, Sharp AI, which is one of the platforms that uses the order book liquidity. I also think Hyperlane will distribute the token until end of the year and also both of these Ethereum layer 2s. That should do it for today's video. As always, if you want to ask any questions, feel free to drop them below this video. And if you don't want to miss future videos, which I publish on a regular basis on this channel on such topics then just hit the subscribe button if you like today's one hit the like button as well and then we'll meet in the next one see you then